you know, the Hypercube or any of the Cube movies I or whatever. I thought of Cube immediately. Before, yeah. before he, like, before his day rebooted and started him over again, mm-hmm. before that happened, before we were thinking Groundhog Day, I was thinking the Cube. Uh-huh. Because, basically, yeah, he wakes up in a house and all the doors are locked and the windows don't open. And the windows are, like, clouded over so you can't even you see can't outside. You can't see out. Nope. Nothing it's opens. daylight no out way there. Out. It's clear. It's, yeah, there's light coming through. Yeah. But so I totally thought of the cube. I was um, like, okay, it's going to be a how the hell do I get out of here movie? Right. Uh, so, but, but yeah, it became a day in and day out. What he was there a couple years. Couple and it of years. Like, that's a whole lot of days to do the same thing over and over. So it's more of a how do you? How, how do, do you, you? How do you shoot that and not make it? boring right and stupid and they did so, a good job so yeah i was gonna say saying it that way so, i think then they did a really good job all of the technical aspects of it worked mm-hmm. it's just the for me the story fell down and normally we talk about the fact that everything else can fall apart as long as it's got a good story right we'll we'll watch it we'll enjoy it we talk about it um in this case though it just didn't have it had everything else it just didn't have the story elements for me right. to make it a high recommend. Um, okay. What would I give it? I'd give it like a two. Really? Yeah. Is our house filling up with smoke? Not that I can tell. Huh. Hmm. You can never tell. I can never tell. Well, when your eyes start burning, you'll know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I would. Um, you yeah, wait for me to catch on I fire? Is that what you're telling me? Okay. What? So you're going to wait for me to catch on fire? When your eyes are burning, you'll know. No. Okay. Um, you liked it okay. What would you give it for a number? Uh, I guess somewhere between a two and a three. Yeah, two is I didn't like it. Three is I liked it. So I can't say I didn't like it. There's, there's, because I, I don't know what I would change. Okay. Aside from maybe make it shorter, make it a short story. Yeah, I make it. That's a weird. So put it in an anthology. Yeah, but but you know three what? Three other then, tales with a twist. You know what though? Then you maybe wouldn't get that feeling of oh my god, we're still here. I see what you're saying. Um, because you had to feel how long that guy'd been there, right? Dragging life, just dragging on and right. on. So for that, it was a little rough. I like a lot of variety in my movies. Mm-hmm. So one actor filmed in one house. This is all you get to see. That's it. Of course, he... Um, it's not giving anything away. He uh, Can I say he finds a journal and... Yeah, well, that's... that's finds, yeah. finds that someone else had been there before. So there's yeah. some little fuzzy flashbacks yeah. of somebody else's well, life there. And having said all that, and said that we knew it was coming and it was predictable and it was whatever... Right. There could be more to it. Maybe. Depending on how deep you want to analyze it. Right. I wanted a horror movie to be entertained. This is something you grabbed at the library, actually, right? Yeah, I picked it up at the library. Yeah. Um, so, if you wanted to argue, but, like, I've already spent 120 minutes on this. I'm not going to spend any more time on Okay. It. You didn't like it well enough. To, I didn't like it. It is what it is and time to move on. Oh, right. What you're saying. That's what I'm saying. To, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's why I rate it a, a two as opposed to a three. So you didn't like it. I, I didn't like it. I, I liked it, but I can't give it a good number. All right. Uh, that's I, me too. Two okay. and a half. Yeah. I don't know. Right. I'm waffling. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well. He was great though. Yeah, absolutely. And, yeah. and everything else about the movie, again, spot on. Yeah. But there were three actors in the in the film. film. Okay. Yeah. Depends on if you want to count the monster or not. Yeah, that's true. But anyway, anyway. Yeah, I don't know. All yeah. right. Yeah. Meh. Meh. I don't know. All Check right. it out if you have nothing better to do. See what you think. And if you have, you've seen it and you love the movie, contact us and let us know. Absolutely. Tell us what we missed. True here. enough. True enough. And, and give us more of what you think about what's going on. Because yeah. if you saw it, and you got more out of it than we did? I mean, we. that being said, we did understand the ending before anyone writes to us and calls <laughs> us idiots. For not, yeah. <laughs> right. We're just, we're not giving spoilers. We don't want to give away what's going on. A private um, message. I mean, you can always get in contact with us. You can find us, easiest way to find us is on Facebook. Um, you can friend me, S. Michael Jones. 
Um, you can get us through Potomatic, you know, any number of places like that. But, uh, yeah, let's make it a private message so we don't spoil anything for anybody else, if anybody is even watching this. Um, but, yeah, it's... Maybe maybe you and I should discuss a little bit more off the air about, about that, because there are certain things that are implied um, because like you said, there is a journal for, from somebody else. Well, there. you know what? And maybe that's the, maybe that tells you right there. Like we didn't even talk about it afterwards. Well, I never, we, were, we, we weren't interested enough to even discuss it. <laughs> we we're like, ah, oh, well, all right. Well, I, I, cause I really wanted to hear for the first time what you had to say without talking about it first. Oh, okay. We usually save that for the podcast. I don't so have a whole lot. We don't usually talk about it afterwards. But anyhow, all right. You and I can discuss. We'll discuss more later. Okay. And if you're listening to the podcast and you want to discuss, send us your thoughts or questions or comments. Definitely. All right. Garbage in, garbage out. What did you think about the Lego Batman movie? Oh, I liked it. I loved it. It was very okay. meta, and I think I enjoyed it even more than you did. Okay. Yeah. Well, we t- we this it movie we so did talk a little bit. Great, there was the, so yeah. much humor in there for yeah. us. There were so many, so many end jokes right down to Danny Elfman references. Oh, yeah. Prince, Batman, uh, the just, there was, there was. Sauron was in there. Everything. Yeah, there was a lot of great stuff going on in there. <laughs> and, the story was lacking, the main story. Uh-huh. But there was a whole lot of other stuff to carry it. Yeah. For sure. Well, it was interesting because I, I saw, uh, well, uh, co-worker saw it when it came out and had taken his son to see it and he asked him how it was and he's like oh well it's just you know it's just he gave me a brief synopsis of the story and you know my kid liked it you know he liked the action scenes um i, I quickly realized oh. as we were watching it like this was as much for our generation yes. our a our, our age group then oh yeah i mean the, more the than kraken the kids was in the classic kraken from <laughs> from clash of the titans clash of the titans that came out when we were kids so any, any warner brother villain that you can think yeah of had, had, a, had a cameo in there which was awesome yeah there was much the wicked witch there's you know and this is one i don't know if i would own it but i definitely want to watch it again because i know i even miss stuff and we even oh, yeah. rolled it back a couple of times to catch everything. Yeah. The first time, but like there is jam packed. Yeah, I full could of see fun. where it was. That's why that was what I enjoyed so much about it. So yeah, I think a a child that doesn't know what any of those things are, you just have to depend on the visual and the action that's going right. on, right? Because they're not going to get the jokes or the obviously not <laughs> the, the nostalgia. So, definitely not the nostalgia to yeah. it. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah, it was a, it was fun though. Speaking of nostalgia and such, uh, Ghost World. Ghost World. We sat down and watched Ghost. We've talked about it on podcasts before, of course, because it's got the great Steve Buscemi, yes. Tora Birch, Scarlett Johansson. I can finally remember who she is now. I guess I've seen her in enough things now. Oh my God, that was like ten years ago. You never knew who she was. That was so weird. But anyhow, yeah, it's one of those people that couldn't stick in my head. I don't know why. Wow. She's beautiful. I, I love her now, but I mean, for whatever reason, I'd never. Crazy. Eh. Anyhow, Ghost World, uh, fun, fun movie? What What do you call that? I don't know. Quirky. Quirky movie? Okay. Based on the comic, but um, yeah. yeah. I think we've talked about it before. I think here. we have too and stuff, but uh, worth another watch. Anything else for Garbage In, Garbage Out? I can't think of anything. You're working too hard. Yeah. All right. Well, that uh, probably means it's time for a crawling chaos. Okay. (laughs) 
Well, I've spent uh, some time on the computer, finally, sort of. I mean, I that makes it sound weird. Well, no, because, I mean, I've had days off and stuff. The holiday schedule has kind of screwed things up, and normally I don't get a day off, but I actually got a holiday and the day before the holiday off, which was unusual. That's really unusual. It's totally rare for me and, and so on, but my working for somebody else screwed Anyhow, my point is... I got a hey, chance to watch a lot of things. Gotta make someone else's dream come true, you know. <laughs> Anyhow, my crawling chaos. Crawling chaos, right? That's where we are. You okay, look lost. I was lost for a minute. Yeah, because here's what I want to talk about. It's another video. It's another link, and it's lame-ish, but I have a little bit more to add to it. Why are you doing lame stuff? Well, so, I mean, maybe it feels like a cheat just, oh, hey, I have a new link for you next week. You know what I mean for the crawling chaos. You're normally it's a topic or fact or it's something we haven't talked about or discussed. Right. So on the podcast, we like to do things more than just the movies, right? Right. You could tell I worked on the Patreon page too and updated that stuff because I think I mentioned that same thing there. Yeah, I seem to recall editing that page. Oh God, freaking writing is brutal for me. I know. It's I'm so lucky that we have patrons like at Lonely Bob. Big Al V and Golda Fish, and the, I am able to do a podcast. Yes. Because I can speak far more eloquently than I can write sometimes. Well, luckily, you have a wonderful editor for when you need to write. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> but that in itself is brutal. Um, yeah, I'll say. Yeah, especially when you're laughing at what I'm trying to say. All of my deep thoughts I put on the page. No. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was so humorous. <laughs> <laughs> No. This stuff is right in my head. Sometimes the wiring gets crossed and it doesn't make it to the page. That's okay. What are you talking about? What I'm talking time? about, never mind. Crawling Chaos. Crawling Chaos is four side movie characters that screwed by the hero. Oh. Which sounds like a totally random topic or whatever, but it was on Cracked. Okay. Um, and it's from the op- Obsessive Pop Culture Disorder, this little video. Okay. Right. And so... Um, so I enjoy watching this, but here's the thing. Oh, just to start with, we watch these movies, we see our heroes, we see them doing wonderful things or whatever, you know, making their way in the world, doing whatever heroic deeds they are. But a lot of times, you and I worry about the minutia of what else is happening and, and so on. Right. And this guy does too, but way to an obsessive okay, point. Okay, so we picked for, up four. For example, I'm going to just, one of the examples is... Um, the Winter Soldier. I mean, in um, Captain, Captain America. Captain America. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When Captain America broke in there and stole the old, the old uniform to try to snap Bucky out of it. Right. Yeah. You know, Stanley comes in. He's the security guard. So, like, as this guy pointed out, like, his, he's going to get fired now because <laughs> Captain America broke in there and stole right. his. You'd think they'd forgive him, though, if, I mean, you're going to stop Captain America? That's not the point, man. That that was Stan Lee's yeah. job, was to go in there. And he's like, I'm sure this guy got fired. Anyhow, oh. there's a couple of other ones. but uh, Collateral damage. So here's the... It happens. <laughs> so here's the one that got me actually thinking, though. And I talk about... You know what? Okay, let me just cut straight to the chase because I could go off on a complete tangents here okay. and But Stuart Little, the mouse, and the yeah, the movie Stuart Little. Okay, they go in and they adopt Stuart. Right. They screwed over all those other little kids in the orphanage. Yeah. They come in and they adopt a mouse. Wouldn't you rather have a child? It's a little mouse with an adult man voice. <laughs> so, wait, wait. This is something you thought of. No, this is this the... is this is absolutely in here. This is one of the oh four God. things. Oh, but you said this is the one that's this stood out. really stood out and got me thinking. Oh my God! Because this guy also goes on to. It's a talking mouse, though. Are you kidding? But that's the thing. He <laughs> actually goes on to a adoption website. Not a, not a support. Uh, it's a supporting actual adoptions and stuff. Okay. And so they suggest or they talk about movies that portray adoptions and stuff because that's... Oh, my God. 